this lesson, we're going to be talking about the basics of the coordinate grid. Now, when we talk about the coordinate grid, some important vocabulary to remember is going to be the x-axis, the y-axis, the coordinate grid itself, the origin, and ordered pairs. Now, starting with a straight line going across. It's called a horizontal number line. It's also known as the x-axis. So, a way to remember that the one that goes straight across is the x, I'll show you some tips. You can say, show me the x before you flex. Show me the x before you flex. Another one, when you're perplexed, you show the x. Okay, now some things to remember about the x-axis. It moves left to right. Okay, so if we move to the left, I have it color coded up here. It's in red because when we move to the left on a horizontal number line, the numbers are getting smaller. They're getting less than, or they, they are decreasing. Okay, they're becoming more negative. That's why it's in red. When we move to the right, just the opposite. The numbers are getting bigger. They're becoming more positive. They are increasing. That's why it is green. Now, when we count numbers on the x-axis or a horizontal number line, we move left and right. The starting point is in the very middle. That's zero. When we move to the right, the numbers are going to be positive. When we move to the left, it's going to be negative. So, say there's a point right there. We don't start counting until we move our pen or pencil. So, starting at zero, it would be positive one, positive two, positive three. So that would just be written as three. But when we write these numbers on a horizontal number line, if it's located on the x-axis, it would actually be written three comma zero. And inside parentheses, we'll get there in a few slots. Say we have a point over there. I notice that it's to the left of zero, so it's gonna be negative something. Now, again, we don't start counting until we move our pen or pencil. So starting at zero, Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. Now remember, when it's on the x-axis, it would be written as negative 6, comma 0, inside parentheses. Okay, now, we talked about our x-axis. Here we have our y-axis, or a vertical number line. So we talked about the x. The way to remember the y, you could say y goes to the sky, or the y goes low to high. Same thing, color coded. This middle point is going to be our zero. Anything above zero is going to be positive. Anything below zero, going down, decreasing, is going to be negative. Okay. So when we count, same thing. We start at our zero point. Say the point is right there. I know that it's above. It's in the green. It's going to be a positive number. So starting here would be positive one, positive two. Now, unlike the x-axis, it would be written like this. It starts with a zero, and you put the two there. Say we have a point down there. I see that it's below zero. It's in the red. It's going to be negative. Well, let's see how many jumps. So we take negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. And again, this would be written as zero, comma, negative four. Very good. Now, here I have my vertical and my horizontal number line. When we combine these two, we create what's called a coordinate grid. What a coordinate grid is is basically the combination the vertical and horizontal axes, or the x and y axes. So this is something I might write down in my math notebook. The coordinate grid is the combination, like I said, of the x and y axes, and a point's distance or location on a coordinate grid is basically its distance from both of the axes. So say it's, we have a point here in quadrant one, we're talking about its distance from the x as well as the y. We're going to get into that in a little bit, of, in a little bit talking about ordered pairs. Now, very middle, where the x and the y meet or intersect is what we call the origin. That is going to be our starting point. So another thing I'd write down, when we talk about the origin, we're talking about where the x-axis and the y-axis intersect or where they meet each other at a perpendicular intersection right there in the very middle. This is always represented as 0, comma 0. This is always our starting point when we graph points or order pairs on a coordinate grid. So, ordered pair, some things to know about it. It's a pair of numbers that determine a point's distance away from the axes. This is how they're written. They're always whoops, separated by a comma and they're always inside parentheses, okay? So if it was three comma negative two, it's a positive three, so I would be moving three to the right and it's a negative two, I would be going two down, okay? It says the ordered matters, hence why we say ordered pairs. The ordered matters because it's always 
explicit as x comma y, which means we always move on the x-axis before we move on the y-axis. This means we will always be moving left or right first before we move up or down. So looking at 3, negative 2, like I said, since it's a positive 3 and I'm moving on the x-axis, I'm going 3 to the right. And then the comma, you can take a pause, take a break. After I move 3 to the right, then I look at the y, that's negative 2. It's in the red, it's a negative. So after I move 3 to the right, I would be moving 2 down. Over here, starting with the x, it's always x comma y. It's in the red, it's a negative 4, so I'd be moving 4 to the left, and then it's a positive 5. After I move 4 left, take a break, then I'd be moving 5 up. Let's take a look at how this is done. So let's say I take a point here, let's add the origin, and we put it about right there, okay? So again, there's always x comma y. Well, I know that I'm moving left. To get to this point from the origin, I'm moving left. Well, how many am I moving left? I go negative 1, okay? And I've already reached the point. So my x would be negative 1, comma. Now we've got to see how far up or down we go. Now, I know it's above, it's in the green, it's above 0, so it's going to be a positive. Let's count how many, positive 1, positive 2. So this point would be negative 1, positive 2. And when we write these ordered pairs, it's always inside parentheses. Okay, let's take another point. Let's put it, erase that first. We're going to take this point and let's put it about right here. Okay, so again, x comma y, we move on our x axis first before we move on our y axis. So this is to the right of the origin, so I know that the x has got to be positive. So how many jumps will it take? One, two, three. Uh, about four. Let's move it over a little bit. Let's say that's at four. So this order pair is going to be four, comma. Now let's see how far down it is. I know it's down, so the y is going to be negative. So it's going to be negative one, negative two. It's not exact. But yeah, that would be about down two. So that order pair here is written as four, negative two. Let's do one more. From the origin, up. From the origin, let's say it's moving right there, okay? I notice it's in the green, it's in the green. So this is going to be two positive numbers. This one is going to be one to the right and one up. That's fine. It's going to be written as one, comma, one. That tells me this is in the first quadrant. First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and last but not least, the fourth quadrant. On your own, there is six points up here. Now would be a good time to pause the video and try to name these points on your own. All right, hopefully you paused the video and got to practice some on your own. Let's start with A. I notice A is to the left of the origin, so it's going to be a negative X. So it's going to be a negative one, negative two, I'm also going 1, 2, up. So that point is going to be negative 2, positive 2. Looking at B, always starting at the origin. That is 1, 2 to the right, and then 1 up. So this is 2, comma, 1. Looking at C, C's down in quadrant 4. Starting at the origin, positive 1, positive 2, 3, 4, 5. Going down, negative 1, negative 2. This point is going to be 5 to the right, 2 down. Looking at D, it's to the left and below. So I already know that both of these numbers are going to be negative. So starting at the origin, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Pause, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So this would be written as negative 4, negative 3. Now, special thing about E and F. They are on an axis. E is on the x-axis and F is on the y-axis. That means one of these numbers is going to have a zero in it. That is fine. From the origin, E is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units to the right. It's 8 units to the right. Now, once we get there, we've already reached the point. To get to this point, we don't go any up or down. If you don't go any up or down, you move zero times. So E is represented as 8, comma, 0. Now, looking at F. F is directly below the origin. 
So with f, we don't move any to the left or right. So that x value is going to be 0. If you don't have to move, that's fine. It's going to be 0. So after we move 0 times, we go down negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So that ordered pair will be written as 0, negative 4.